Hey guys, what's up? Paul Salmon here. So coming home from Alton, Illinois, went up to a uh, little air show that, I'm sorry, a flying that they had at Alton. And when we got back, uh, <laughs> back to down to Cape Dorado, we discovered that we had developed a uh, rather bad mag problem. So uh, let me review that with you guys and uh, let's take a look what happened there. It's missing, yeah. Now, what I want you to do, you have the aircraft. My aircraft. Just kind of hold what you got. Now it's almost dead now. So it's quite obvious that we had a, uh, a, a pretty significant mag drop. <laughs> there, it almost killed the engine when you went to the left mag. So, uh, you know, you get several different options there. Um, that aircraft, recently we'd been flying with a bunch of 100 low lead in it. And we, uh, if you, a lot of times if you fly with a straight 100 low lead a lot, you can get lead deposits on the plugs and it can cause a significant amount of uh, rough running. We had a similar problem with the Cadet. Let me show you exactly what we found on the Cadet here. An aircraft that was uh, kind of had a little bit of a miss in it. So figured we had a plug that was dirty. These plugs were just clean, just did a hundred hour on the thing about, uh, I don't know what, four hours two, ago? Two or three hours Three hours ago. So we were running hundred low lead in this aircraft um, because uh, we had a whole bunch of hundred low lead to burn up out of one of the tanks. And uh, so here's what you get. So all the lead deposits on the uh, contacts, that would, that would uh, short out the uh, plugs intermittently and make it run like hell. So uh, anyway, 100 low lead, despite the name low lead, is not very low in lead at all. Okay, so when this problem developed, I sort of assumed it was um, 100 low lead being the root of the problem and that we had some significant lead deposits on the plugs. And that's not what we found. Let's uh, review what we actually found with the aircraft here. Okay, so let me do a quick explanation of which bag fires which plugs, okay? Now, pay attention. <laughs> The left magneto, which is located on the right side of the engine relative to the aircraft, fires the lower plugs on the left and the upper plugs on the right. And the right mag, which is located on the left side of the aircraft, fires the right lower mags relative to the aircraft and the left upper mags relative to the aircraft. Okay, so with that explanation, <laughs> if not confusing, we'll continue here. So there's the left uh, side, four plugs from the left side. None of those look too bad at all. We'll go to the right side, take a look at those. So Dean ended up pulling all the plugs out. They all look in decent shape. So now he's got the mag off and uh, we'll find out exactly what the problem is. Probably the uh, plastic drive gear has got some teeth off of it or something. We'll find out shortly. about 400 degrees too. Oh yeah, yeah it's hot and warm. Yeah. Well, nobody ever calls you to work on a cool bag. Yeah. You see the smoke from your fingers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, check that out. Yeah. Got about four or five teeth off right there. Am I looking at a crack in there, bro? No. Or no, it's just the way it's made, I guess. The lines on there. Yeah. There is. But the teeth are definitely messed up. Yeah, oh. they're gone. <laughs> See them? The lack of yeah. teeth right there. I'm surprised it was hitting it all on Me that too. bag. I'm surprised it didn't backfire because when it did catch, it would be totally out of time. Yeah, out of sync. Yeah, pile. Yeah, no, it, and I, like I say, you, you'd think it would kill the damn engine when you went to that mag. The T should be in there somewhere. It did have a significant well, there's one, drop. There's another one right there. I saw there. one fall out. Yeah, there's one. Here's another one. 
Yeah. Uh, like I say, you'd have a significant, it would almost kill the engine, but it didn't. But it's surprising that it didn't. Distributor block looks good. Sure, sheared them off. Huh? About one more, two more, about ready to come off there. Mm -hmm. Probably as it was spinning, it would grab them. Yeah. Because it drives off this steel gear here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm shocked it wasn't a just totally dead mag. That's wild. So that's what we found. I thought I'd save you guys the uh, details of the painful uh, reinstallation of the mag. Where uh, mechanics are always an afterthought, and uh, getting that mag on and off is uh, quite a challenge, actually. So, again, if you have a mag, so what did we learn from this lesson? If you got a mag acting up, don't fly the damn aircraft, because that could have been serious. I mean, if you would have flown the aircraft and then you lost the right mag, the engine quits, and you get your your flight gets a whole lot more exciting <laughs> real fast. So, uh, so hopefully you uh, got something out of the. Uh, uh, video and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video and i apologize for my cat there in the background <laughs> see you guys soon